Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Alright y'all, so, on today, y'all see me, I'm in workout clothes, the first time I'm in workout clothes all year long. I have a hard time with working out. If you've been following me, if you've been subscribed for a minute, you know I have a hard time working out. With that being said, today, on this beautiful Saturday morning, 11.48 a.m., I'm going to work out. How may I feel about it, you may ask? I'm actually very, very, uh... Not excited, but I'm very optimistic. I believe that this is a year of change and with change comes discipline. So I'm ready to discipline myself, living a active lifestyle. However, I just found out that I left my gym sneakers back in Jersey, which means I'm gonna have to wear Filas to the gym. These are my Filas. These, I don't work out in. These are my fashion sneakers. These, I have to work out in today. So I'm asking, if any of you know of any great workout sneakers, please leave them in the comment section below so I can go buy me a brand new pair because you know what, I think it was time to get a new pair anyways. The last one had holes in it, but they were workout sneakers anyway, so I didn't care. But, yeah. So now, you see me looking out the window, waiting for my friend Derica to come. So in the meantime, I'm gonna drink some lemon water. So my best friend Gabby actually gave me an electric, let me show y'all. She gave me an electric uh, kettle Look, y'all, I'm about to plug it in right now, and this thing is gonna be ready in 0 0.2 seconds. It's on, it's gonna turn green. The water in here, where it's at right now, and how it's orange, and it turns green when it's ready. And, but I used to um, start my day off with some lemon water. Yeah, lemon water has so many different benefits for your body. Um, for your skin. It overall helps with your di digestive system. I remember when I used to drink lemon water, warm lemon water the first thing when I wake up. Um, maybe TMI, but it helps um, with having clear urine. My thing is finished. I'm um, kettling, as y'all can hear, which took, I think, like a minute. So I'm about to make this lemon water. I'm gonna drink it, and I'm gonna head to the gym.
Oh God, y'all. <laughs> not Derek over there laughing at me. I'm having a hard time, but that's what I get for not working out since September. I can't even breathe. I feel like I'm a, I don't know. Can't breathe. Oh, we must see. Get back. To work. I got all these workout equipment that I got. I don't ever say I don't work out. <laughs> yeah, I had enough. <laughs> I had enough. I don't feel that bad. But my, my body is sore. I know I'm gonna really feel it tomorrow morning. My waist trainer on. We're gonna have a snatch waist by summer 2021. <laughs> morning it's the next day and it's Sunday morning I'm getting ready for church yesterday I didn't finish the clips because I came back home I made dinner and I was gonna vlog it but I was like you know what I just want to like cook and relax and I did such I cleaned up my living room I got to vacuum because I have some furniture coming this technically this week so I got a chance to vacuum the floors which I'm very excited about. It smells so good in here. But today I'm wearing this white turtleneck. I'm wearing the She Favors leather pants. And I'm also wearing the She Favors plaid jacket. It's not going to be really early. But I'm actually going to be at a decent time to church. It's 10 o'clock. Church starts at 11. Last week I got there at 11.30. I got there so, so late. But I also made... A smoothie because I want to eat more fruits and veggies. So this is how it looks. That's what I'm wearing. I want to like put it down so y'all can see it. Okay. All right. This is what I got on, and I'm gonna wear my Air Forces. I feel like being a little hood. So, yeah. So that's my outfit. Hey guys, so I wanted to come on here and just talk about how amazing service was today. Um, I visited the same church that I visited last Sunday and it was incredible. Um, Holy Spirit definitely moved inside of that place. We actually stayed after service um, about two hours just in worship. And it was something that I definitely um, needed more than I expected or more than I even um, came there with the thought of. And um, we spoke and plain different things and the Lord definitely highlighted, confirmed, affirmed and really just set a peace in my heart. And um, it was just so I just want to speak about this real quick. So um, when I first found out about this church and. Um, someone had invited me to it the first thing I said was um, does the presence of God dwell there does God show up in that place is it a church of religion or is it a church of um, pure Holy Spirit moving like are we just 
coming out of service because time is up or are we staying in his presence because god wants us to remain and be still right here right right where we are and that church is exactly that probably even more it's it's uh, it's amazing it's beautiful and yeah y'all i'm just like still mind blowing i'm still like soaking even though like i'm talking right now and i'm just like i just drove home I still feel like I'm soaking and basking in his presence because God is just that good. And I believe that this year the Lord is definitely um, helping his children who have been finding um, trouble speaking up. Whether it's in terms of just like sharing his word or like feeling not qualified. But if you are marked by God, you are chosen by God and you are qualified by him. If you have Holy Spirit living inside of you, you are more than qualified for whatever it is that he has positioned you to do. And I think for a long time, especially like growing up, like we are taught to stay in a child's place and not speak up on certain things or not get into grown folks business. Who has heard that before? I've heard that before and I believe that God is doing a new thing in the young people and it's amazing to see um, even for myself it's amazing to see how God has transformed somebody who was once very very quiet and a lot of family members and a lot of friends can attest to this at least like childhood friends um, they can attest that I was a very shy girl I was very silenced as a child and it's not that um, I had tape over my mouth and I couldn't speak but I was taught that stay in a child's place and I also was just the enemy kind of uh, conditioned me to think that whatever I had to say was not valuable. So now like walk into the walking and continue walking into the season of boldness. Um, last year, 2020 started the season of boldness and actually proclaiming the name of Jesus. I never thought that I would come on platforms as Instagram and YouTube and really speak about the love, speak about the love of God and really just speak about what he's doing in my life. And that is like the beginning of the boldness, but I know that God wants to do more. Um, and he is doing more. He's doing greater things than what have we seen before. What I've seen before, what you've seen before, he's doing greater than that. And I just want to encourage anybody who feels like, all right, well, I stepped away from the Lord. Um, it's been weeks of reading my word. Without reading my word, there's been times where I just like reverted back to my old ways. First and foremost, I bind any spirit that's telling you that you're not worthy of receiving God's love. Scripture says nothing can separate you from the love of Christ. So even if you feel like you have backslid and that is your, your situation and that is your case right now, know that God is still calling you back to him. Know that you are still qualified by him. Qualified by him. You can still be used by him. And as long as you just walk, repent, and come back to him, is no greater time than do so as now, especially in the season of uh, unknown and uncertainty and all these things that's going on in our in our country and in the world per se. Uh, we can't afford to, to do this life without Jesus. And today was just really just different for me. Like, it was very transformative in plenty of different ways and I'm not going to go into it too much because I don't feel led to do that right now. But it was very transformative and it was definitely a day that's going to be marked in my heart. Um, so many things that were free from my heart and my mind. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Like um, walking in freedom, walking in, in the fullness of healing and, and leaving 2020 where it was. All the things that has caused burden all the things that has called pain leaving it where it is the book of isaiah speaks about the old has passed away and the new has come so i'm just going to leave it here and just encourage any of you who have been battling with who you used to be and and things that happened in the past and where god wants you and what's to come the old has passed away you are not the same person you can Yes, we have free will, but you can make the choice of following Christ full heartedly. It's not enough to just go to church on Sundays and just leave it there. The Lord desires a relationship with you. And in, and in this relationship with Christ comes freedom. It comes peace. It comes joy. Yes, it comes with long suffering. That's a fruit of the spirit. It, it, it's not peaches and cream. I don't want to sell a story of every life is going to be amazing because it's not. 
I have days that I cried more being saved than when I didn't. But what's the difference of when I wasn't saved is that I was dwelling in pain. I had no escape from it. I had no way to get out of it. Whereas now, if I am going through a, a tribulation or a season of testing or trials or however you want to put it, I know that my rest comes from Jesus and I can rest knowing that I serve a God who is going to restore, who is going to redeem what was lost, what was broken. He's going to be able to to fulfill my every need essentially i don't need to look for it from people or relationships parties clubs however you want to say it i find my rest i find my joy from him despite what the situation looks like so just want to leave it here my food is beeping i just um, warmed up some food to eat real quick i'm so so tired but i just want to come on here and share it service was absolutely phenomenal i just I have no words. It was amazing. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I love y'all. Um, thank you, God, for giving me this platform to just be authentic with my walk with you. And prayerfully, no matter what video you watch, that you feel the love of God, um, that you feel the presence of God that you leave um, each video encouraged or changed or wanting to know about christ or anything of that sort so i love y'all thank y'all for tuning into another vlog and i'll see you in my next video peace